Dropped one. Caught one. Dropped one. Caught one. Hey, we're going to multiply some polynomials. We're going to kick it up a notch today. Last week on Thursday, we multiplied binomials. Pretty straightforward. We looked at three different met methods. Double distribution, FOIL, and then a matrix. So today, you got to choose which one you're going to do. FOIL won't work because that only works for a binomial times a binomial. So over here, I'm going to look at a distribution approach. And over there, I'll do a matrix. And then you can decide which one you like best. Okay, here we go. Take good note. Number 21. We're going to distribute. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's not go from there. Let's go from the 2R. Because you can distribute backwards. There you go. 2R times 7R. That's a squared right there. So let's multiply. 2 times 7 is 14. And then R times R squared is R cubed. Okay, okay so far. Let's distribute again. 2R times negative 6R is negative 12R squared, R times R. And 2R times negative 6 is negative 12 with an R. Now we're going to go from the negative 4 and we're going to distribute. But when I do this, I'm going to line up my terms so that you can see, like, by degree that we're going to combine our like terms. Okay? So negative 4 times 7r squared is negative 28r squared. And notice I put it underneath the 12, negative 12r squared for its like term. Negative 4 times negative 6r right there is positive 24r. And then this multiplication, which is our last one, is negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. He has no like term. Neither does the 14r cubed. So when you add these together, you're going to keep the 14r cubed. You're going to combine these two, which is negative 40r squared. When you add like terms, you don't change the degree. You just add the coefficient. Over here, you're going to add those together to get 12r. That's 24 minus 12. And then plus 24. Okay. So just a couple of notes about this polynomial. First of all, it has four terms. It's a degree 3 because the highest ranking exponent per term is a 3. Okay? And remember, there's an amendment to that rule. If your term has multiple powers within the term, okay, so let's say that was a 14r cubed, I don't know why squared. Think about it, what would be the degree of that term? It'd be a degree 5. Okay, That's been addressed a couple of times. You may have missed it, so I gotta keep hitting on that fact. That if the term looks like this and it has multiple powers, it's not the product rule. You're not adding the powers together. It's just this is how you determine the degree of that polynomial. That would be a 5. Okay. okay. So we could do, for this next one, and it's going to be our last one for today, I'm just going to go straight to the end of the worksheet is what I've done, pulled out the hardest ones, and you can fill in the blanks later. Uh, you could distribute 9 times, 9 times from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, or you could set up a matrix, which is still distributing nine times, only you're gonna have compartments to house all these terms. So I told you last week, I like the matrix approach when it comes, as it comes to like uh, bigger multiplications because you are just organized with your stuff. So you could write the first trinomial on top, minus six and minus five, and you can write the second one down the side. Seven n squared, six n, and negative five. And now you just multiply, okay? So we're gonna go 6n squared and 7n squared is 42n to the fourth. When you're multiplying the same base, you add the exponents, that's why that went up to a four. Uh, seven times negative 6n is negative 42n cubed. That's two plus one on the exponent there. And then this last one in the row is negative 35n. Okay. Let's go down to row two. 6n squared times 6n is 36n cubed. 6n times 6 and negative 6n is negative 36n squared. I almost forgot my square there. And then 6n times negative 5 is negative 30n. Notice that the powers are descending in order. 4, 3, huh, 2, see, bottom. And then 3, 2, 1. Okay. All right, last row. Negative 5 times 6n squared is negative 30n squared. Negative 5 times negative 6 is positive 30 with an n. 
That's going to be the first. And negative times negative is positive. We've got 25 right there. And notice the powers are also descending, going down. 4, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1 uh, degrees, 0. Yeah, still could be 1. But anyway, there's no. Let's add like terms. OK. The like terms are found diagonal of each other. So for this one, this has no like term. So we're just going to keep it. 42 n to the fourth. Uh, we're going to add these two together right here. So that's negative 42 and 36. And that would be a negative 6 n cubed. Let's go ahead and combine these three. Oh boy. Negative 66 and another negative 35 is uh, the negative 101. That is negative 101 and squared. Oh, look at this. 30, positive and negative, those would cancel. So you can cross out the boxes like that. Those are gone. And we have plus 25. Okay. Our trinomial, not trinomial, sorry, our polynomial has four terms. It's a degree four. I think that's called quartic. Quadratic, cubic, quartic, quintic. Yeah, it's quart quartic, the quarter. Uh, will play. Can I help you? I'll play for it. Oh, you want to play a game? Well, yes, I do. And I have one set up already, right here. Oh. Oh, how convenient. Oh, just happened to be set up. Huh? It was you. It was happened you. to be set up. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's play. Let's play. I'll start the timer. We'll be fun. Go down, buddy. You're going down. Great thing about you. Are You do it. <laughs> Boom. Boom. See you. I'm the king, baby. I'm the king. I think I'm a pawn. Happy Tuesday.